What's up, my honeys? It is King Brittany Chanel. You already know, and I'm back with yet another video. So yesterday, y'all, I privated the video that I had up where I was talking about men are tired of the manosphere because I wanted to cover some things um, that I feel like I didn't talk about in the video because my video kind of was like me kind of being thankful that the most high God kind of answered the prayers that a lot of women had out there to call our men back from those other nations and to realize that this manospheric content and this women's spirit content was just bad for our people in general. <laughs> So I just want to talk about, you know, you know, the I want to talk about more about the men being tired of the manosphere and things that I'm seeing. But also I want to talk about um, just men. Uh, okay, I'll put it this way. What women really want. And, I'm, and when I say women, real women, we're not talking about modern women. We're not talking about the, the 304 categories of women and women that just are non-traditional we're talking about what real upstanding women actually want out of a relationship and what they want from men to help mend this situation with the whole gender going back and forth like the men saying this the women saying that um and if you guys have noticed like i talked a little bit about this yesterday um, Dr. Umar was talking about this, um, other content creators was talking about this, that a lot of these men find themselves getting into that man, the manospheric lies, um, where these men, they sit up there, you know, the nature of women and in the, in the scientific whatever about women is because they don't possess certain skills and real life to really get them women or the women that they want. Or furthermore, like I told y'all in the last video that I made, basically those modern women who be, are those IGS baddies, non-traditional, a lot of those uh, women, they only care. They're very highly materialistic. They only care about money. And so these men, they try to go after those type of women and then sit around and talk about all oh, women ain't this, this, that. And so the things that I've noticed on why a lot of those guys are over there um, is because of that. Like, and I mentioned yesterday, like the content creator, uh, Michael King, who he's talked about this on his channel from like a balanced perspective. You know, these guys, they go after these materialistic s girls and they try to wife those girls or they try to wife those women who are 304s that's online with they uh on you know on websites like lonely man that rhymes with lonely mans okay all kind of stuff the only pages all kind of stuff and i'm just being i'm trying to be funny with that but then sit around and then they blame regular like traditional women real kind of upstanding women that really want to be women they totally ignore those women for these women and then try to categorize all women like, oh, you know, they, they feminists and they modern women. But like I said, a lot of y'all ladies agree with me. Some of y'all even reached out to me on um, IG to talk about this a little further. And y'all said, KB, I see exactly what you're talking about. Um, a lot of these women that are good women out here, these dudes, they'll look at them. They don't want those type of women because the, the, the how it's being wired in their mind, right? So a lot of men have been speaking out they're tired of the lies and stuff because they're they're getting online they're doing the stuff that these so-called dating guru coaches is telling them to do they're telling them all this bs about the nature of women and these dudes they don't even know how to really have real social encounters with women like they be on like some weird type time like if you listen to a lot of these um manosphere channels and you hear the guys call in it's kind of cringe because it's like they really do not have like social kind of skills like and then two the girls that they are after their social skills are kind of subpar because all they about is the the um blank them and get some money type lifestyle like 
their their self-worth they put a lot into their self-image but in the inside their self-worth is in the in the trash for real like spiritually and then two they push this high value crap because a lot of like i said a lot of men been busting out how their high value crap is trash like it just it's like it's it's programming uh certain women to get beside themselves that are delusional because they got a bunch of things they could be working on and then two it's it's having men that's the average everyday hard-working man they're being looked over because of this bugged out oh you need to be you need to be messing with a man that has this type of foreign car he needs to get you this type of bag if he can't drop a bag off like you need to be messing with the um even the dudes like they kind of promote messing with them um them them scheme type of dudes because those dudes like i don't know like if y'all seen some of them dudes that were infamous and they were from different parts of the world but they were walking around in the in the in the instagram type of lifestyle in the hermes he saying laurent you could tell by the font type of lifestyle okay they excuse me they were heavily into that so guys are tired of that at least real ones anyway because they're like bro that does not work for you you as a they and, and this is they're saying like guys you as a man if you want to attract a woman first of all you have to be realistic with yourself okay you have to be realistic with yourself you have to know okay i may not be the best in this area but let me work on these other areas right not getting on these pages where they're oh high value where clearly let's just be honest high value according to the the standards of kevin sanders and the rest of that crap most men are not in that bracket of men the probably one percent of men who are six figures most men are not so it's causing these women some of them to be delusional okay then you have the unrealistic the, the delusionalness that's going on where these women they are putting their life on the line to get these bbls this artificial life because they want to look like that instagram lifestyle um but some of these women they don't actually really want to put in in the work to get that lifestyle they want a man to provide that and it's just the total warp perception of what an actual uh, provider and protector is actually supposed to be on both sides because you have men complaining about providing and that's the, um, the one of the huge roles when it comes to them. But then you have the unrealistic expectations that some of these women have and it's just like, oh my gosh. Like it's just keeping the 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 gender thing going 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 on both sides and it's just like i'm just so i'm just so excited to see that some melanated men have now started to call this foolishness out to to talk about the the damages that it's doing to our men like what it's doing to their self-esteem okay because they're trying to live up to something like they're trying to equate their worth with a concept that's not real you understand like so let's get into the aspect of what real upstanding women want i would say what righteous women want y'all in the world y'all might say what high value women want what real women want real women ain't sitting there asking you to drop no bags off they not trying to mess with you to get the latest birkin or none of that foolishness all of that is immature type of time okay like that's not even <laughs> men can have money but still have the, the the qualities of a of a of a of a trash bag like um that is not something that somebody that's of quality is going to be looking for anyway because like i kind of told y'all on my video yesterday before i privated that video um because i wanted to um come back and like talk about some other points like when you're creative it's it's a process when you're putting out content it's crazy but um <laughs> it's not necessarily crazy but if you're a creative person y'all understand what i mean like your content is like your baby you feel what i'm saying like you work on it 
if you don't like it, like, ah, I'm gonna take this down and I'm gonna rework it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this. So kind of that's what happened. So what I wanted to talk about, or I kind of touched on a little bit in that video yesterday, a lot of these men, um, you know, they were getting messed up by this, this content because all it does in with some of this manuscript stuff it sells doom and gloom it makes them have low self-esteem they're already dealing with not being able to deal with rejection probably uh like the guy dr peterson said batting out of their league they're not really learning skills to really deal with how to get a woman for real or what women really actually want to get a woman they're listening to these dudes who have absolutely no idea they could tell you about all the 304s but they cannot tell you what real woman what you need to do to attract real women or real upstanding women or real traditional women they're not giving you any tip i could tell you right now i have not seen not nary a channel that is going to tell you how to attract an, a traditional woman all of the advice that they give you is dealing with chicken heads 304s and them type of women they're not giving you no i have not seen not one channel and I'm making this statement and I'm being so for real. They'll tell you how the women that play those games, the immature women that play those games, that they want to play games with. Because a lot of them, is, a lot of people, um, and I'm not saying all guys like this, because some guys be calling it out. And some, like I said, some guys are tired of the manospheric type of content where they're calling it out. Like y'all guys could speak on all these 304s, which we never have no reference stories of you attracting actual upstanding women actual women because there are real upstanding women there are real righteous women real traditional women real women that want to be in their traditional uh role as women we just never hear y'all have no interactions with that and i i always tell y'all a wicked man's reward is gonna be a wicked woman so but I'm going to give y'all some clues on what real traditional women want, right? Because all this high value crap and nonsense that is being put out and, you know, getting women to not want to look at a hardworking man, real women is going to value a hardworking man. Why? Because that's going to show what type of character that man has. And that man doesn't have to have all of the money in the world and that's not saying go get you a potential type of man or a bum type of man who you get what i'm saying that's not what i'm 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 saying because please don't do that we don't do the whole struggle concepts you you let a man go and get himself together and a lot of men they don't like the idea of that they constantly talk about biblical terms when it comes to submission and the rest of that stuff but they don't present themselves worthy you understand and when i say this they're going to get into oh well these women don't present themselves worthy if you are a righteous man you have to present yourself worthy enough to say that you're worthy enough to get certain women and i, I men might not want to hear that but you have to be worthy in certain areas to attract certain women it's the same with women Okay, I'm not telling this to the men and I'm not going to tell this to the women. You're not going to attract a certain man if you are not worthy of the man in the in the weight in the you know to carry the weight of that man or you're not worthy enough to carry the weight of that woman. And I'm not saying like carry burdens or anything like that. I'm talking about, you know, spiritually, but also biblically cuz a lot of these men that are that they say they want a traditional woman like i said they use these biblical terms so they're not going to tell they're not going to talk about how in order to show that they were capable of taking care of a wife and a family they had to pay stuff like a bride price right you just you wasn't just getting a woman um, and these men, they have time and time again, they have tried to circumvent this. And the bride price was not to try to pay for a woman. That was to show that woman's father that you were capable enough to provide, okay? Because men are not going to escape the providing aspect, but providing is just not monetary. Providing is just showing 
that you are capable of taking care of the mantle of things like husband because you don't just you don't just become a husband or a wife that's something that you train to be in hebraic terms we train the people up for that now i'm gonna tell you the lame cop out that i've been seeing because i don't like that this is the lame cop out that i've been seeing they try to downplay the melanated woman where they say oh no she don't know how to submit blah 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 they, they pedestalize these other type of people but they're not telling you how different qualities were placed in a lot of these uh young ladies to why they are so broken they're not telling you how the enemy has tried to come for these ladies Cause it's it's a even with the 304 thing, it's a way that those 304s are made. The enemy is after you and your youth. So what is happening to a lot of these young ladies in their youth? Just use your imagination. Okay, I'm not gonna get into it because you know this is YT. But um the enemy is after their youth if you know what I mean when I'm saying that. So once that happens, it alters certain things spiritually in them, which means that it's a whole, when you come, when, when Yah, cause Yah is there, the, Yah is there for these young women, okay? Because you can become a traditional woman you have to come and surrender yourself to Yah, the Most High Yah, because then he will give you the values in which you need so that you, because you already are instilled with certain blessings. The enemy's job is to try to take those blessings or to divert those blessings. So you are already a wife and you are to be instilled and showed by your mother in the ways of a wife what is going on is we've seen like all of the the social things that have happened to us and it has diverted certain things but that doesn't mean that there are not women who still who are melanated who still have traditional values i have been seeing them all over youtube like i said a lot of these guys they don't really know what it is that attracts the traditional women and i'm gonna tell you i, I show i saw i showed y'all some points the other day um or yesterday on the video i said you know traditional women are they're gonna look at a hard working man not necessarily for his monetary but that's gonna show his character is this man punctual is he a person that's timely is this person consistent is this person um always working to better himself in areas of you know areas that are going to help him you know achieve his goals is he a person that not just talks about what he wants to do but he actually implements these things these are things i look at and also i like a hard like i say a hard worker a person that knows how to work with their hands right why is that important because providership has to do with that also like i said i'm not when i talk about providership i'm not just talking about what a person can bring to the table what a man can bring to the table uh as far as monetary because we know in the in the spiritual economy or the economy of heaven that money is a low low thing because what what is going to happen to these so-called high value men when let's say something happens to the economy money is no longer meaningful what is going to be his life what is his life skills does he know how to do construction can he build things i look at things um attractive like men who can do like who can build things i love that to see like men work with power tools men that can actually build things. can you run electricity do you have a trade in that um do you know how to uh use just you know do you know how to build a deck do you know how to build additions to the home 
do you know how to do actual skills that's actually really going to pay the bills when things go to the left as far as like when i say go to the left i mean you know that they've been um predicting the situations that's going to happen with this money situation where um certain stuff is going to happen that's been prophesied that's the prophesied that's what i mean you guys so if money becomes nothing what life skills or survival skills is that man going to provide for his family i'll give you an example of this right i saw the most beautiful family uh, anyway um i saw the most beautiful melanated family and the guy um their channel is called life with the kings and the guy he took his family to ghana he left western civilization like the uk and he's a i think their family is originally from jamaica and they moved their family to ghana he bought land for his family um they're growing their own food and he's literally building his wife a home so literally he has taken you know the role of providership and he has taken control of you know his destiny and pulling himself out of this you know the the i would call it the race of life okay where his kids are seeing a legacy they are seeing you know okay a man is is the provider in a sense of he's providing he's showing them how to grow food he is showing them what a father i would say because it's only one father Abaya, what a dad is supposed to be like you are seeing that so when i think of providership i'm thinking about providership in a sense of those high values. We know what high value is because the Torah, the Bible tells us what high value is. A high value man is a man that's, is this, that's keeping Torah. And those things, when you teach up, when you, <laughs> I would say teach up, when you, <laughs> when you raise up a child in the way that they should go, they're not gonna depart from that, right? So you teaching your son in a young age this is what you're supposed to do, right? You're supposed to, you, you, your family, they should never go hungry because you should know how to grow your own food. They should never um, be without a place to stay because you should make sure that you're getting land for them and that things that actually matter. Don't drop a bag off for me. I want some land. Don't drop a bag off for me. I want some land. I don't care about paper money. Where's the, where, where's the stuff that's actually going to count? where is you speaking life into me as an individual where is you actually um having a plan that i could help you implement as a helpmate see we ain't ready to talk about this where is that plan and then we all we all submit ourselves to king yohoshua let's say i buy y'all first then king yohoshua that's the correct terms because if you if you if you don't if you if you've seen the son then you have seen the father but i like to be respectful so i buy y'all first then the son then we submit ourselves to the son and then the children well then i submit myself to my husband and then the children submit to the authority that way right so these men are not really looking at what actual traditional women are looking at these channels exist um i've seen these women they are homemakers they want to be in the home fixing up their home they want to be about uh that family vibe and these men cannot a lot of them cannot stop looking at the women that do not serve them or serve a purpose really in their lives right um and it it, it just comes to the truth like a lot of men are calling out the fact that some of these men need to deal with certain um i would say they need to deal with certain things that they struggle with whether it be like looking at um lustful images and in 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 videos and stuff all the time because that rewires a guy or just putting the wrong putting the wrong information in their spirit all the time you understand what i'm saying like what you feed yourself as far as what you read what you look at that is who you're going to be 
wired to be. And so if you're constantly putting that sort of material in your mind and you constantly always worried about the modern woman, you're not going to attract the traditional woman. You're just not. So um, traditional women, they look at the provider and the protector aspect too. And another thing that I was noticing, like just, you know, looking at stuff in the manosphere and stuff like that, how willing these men are just willing to just put, you know, their personal business out or, you know, they're, they want to tell everybody their whole life story. And that's not a protector. Um, a protector is going to protect the image of his family. The woman that he chooses is a, is a reflection of himself. And just to see things that are so disheartening um, that our men in our community, not all, but some decide to do, like you decide to bash your counterpart instead of uplifting when she is a reflection of you. So the protector aspect is not there. You understand what I'm saying? This is why I feel like um, Malcolm X said, you know, the melanated woman is the least, you know, protected and the most disrespected. Just that aspect, the loving aspect. Like if you show love, women want to be loved they're they're tired of the the brute beast activity so real women they're gonna run from that sort of thing if you come off too abrasive if you just come off and you got an off perspective with you they're gonna they're gonna run from that you know what i'm saying a lot of women honestly uh that are traditional they're keeping to themselves because they're so scared of what is like, you know, these guys that are out here that are, I would say, modern, you know what I'm saying? Because they pretend that they there's modern women, but they don't talk about how there's modern men out there too. But like I said, that's why I was happy that a lot of men are, are talking about a lot of these men who um, they just, they're not getting the proper social skills. They're not, you know, dress a little better um fix yourself up to talk to the women that gravitate toward you and if you're always uh getting those low frequency type of women then that's why you know what i'm saying real women are are looking for things that are going to have you to if you want those type of women you have to level up you have to or otherwise you have to stay in your lane that's just where it's at honey i tell people that all the time baby you got to stay in your lane if you're not at a certain place and that's not a diss to a person it's just if you're there then you're there if you want something higher than that you have to put in the work that requires that it's just simple as that like people they want to get around that like women it's the same way with them the delusional women you want a certain type of man but you don't want to put in the work to get that certain type of man you think that you're just going to present yourself and um you're just going to get that type of man. And we, we've we seen that that's not the case. We've seen that even like women uh, like Esther, our cousin Hadassah, y'all call her Esther. She had to go to, through a purification stage until, you know, she prepared herself. And so she was ready for marriage and stuff like that. So, or Ruth, Ruth was just working away, my, you know, being the best her she could be. And, her, and Boaz was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to have to get her. So you just work on the best you, but working on bettering yourself. And then you'll attract real high value people. We're not talking about people that are just running around in this in this, this false uh, situation with all this money and stuff like that. That, that means absolutely nothing if it, if, if, if it comes to the situations that you know could potentially happen that's been prophesied to happen eventually so you should be looking for people that actually have actual skills survival skills do they have a relationship with the most high yeah can they carry you you feel what i'm saying when you tired can they carry you you feel what i'm saying can they speak life into you those are things that i think about you guys um when it comes to what a man is bringing to the table, right? Because if I'm working on myself as far as spiritually, um, physically, like, you know, you're working out on yourself, working out, you know, 
all of that stuff to be a good person or a good helpmate for a person, then that person should have to be doing that same thing so that when y'all meet up, y'all are not two broken pieces trying to come together. Both of y'all are whole. The Most High Yah has made y'all whole to actually come together, to actually do something for real, like to build for real. Then too, like, you know, people that are high value, they are not really vain. They're not vain people. They're not shallow. So all of this stuff that people tell you is high value is really from their perspective in a materialistic perspective, that's shallow. It's vain. It'll end in 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 it'll come to naught. That's what I want to say. It'll come to naught. So yeah. This is my thoughts on this, guys. I hope this clarified things of what I was thinking yesterday. And I will see y'all soon on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Hey honeys, thank you for watching my video and if you haven't, definitely make sure you check out my Teespring King Brittany Chanel Couture where you can find my latest merch. I upload a lot of new designs frequently so definitely make sure you check it out. We have mugs, we have wall tapestries, canvas art, pillows, fleece blankets, apparel, and so much more. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all on my next video.